Hi everyone, it's me, Arielle, and it's Wednesday Warriors. And today's topic is, how do I extend my social network? How can I make friends most easily, especially outside of school? I do have a few ideas. I also did a couple videos in the past that deal with friendships or social aspects or making friends, things like that. So I'll post the links to those too. Okay, so extending your social network, making new friends, spending time with groups of people, um, you know, doing things other than just spending time by yourself at home. There is a really great website um, for meetups, and you can basically put in any interest that you have, anything that you're interested in doing. It doesn't even necessarily have to be an activity. You can put things in there from knitting to running to reading to being a mom. Um, all kinds of vast interests. You fill that in and you can name as many interests as you want or you can just list one that's most important to you and then it will list all the meetups for you that are in your area and it's a really really cool resource. I actually logged into it maybe a year or so ago just to see you know kind of what was in my area sometimes and until you do something like that you just really don't know. I mean there's no quick way to find out what's going on but it's cool and it has a lot less of um, an expectation factor. You know, you can go ahead and if you're doing something like that and you do go to the next meetup for whatever the interest is that is important to you, it's everybody there is there for the same thing. You know, everyone there is there because they want to meet other people that have similar interests. They want to stop being by themselves too. So it's not as though you're going to be a new person coming in, you know, and feeling awkward or uncomfortable. So I think it's a really great thing. Um, the link to it is going to be on the screen here. I'll also put it in the information box for the video so you can check that out. Pretty sure it only has to do with Americans um, not positive if they have anything international like this. I'm sure that they do. I'm just not aware of it. It's a really great site. You can put in your topic or interests like book clubs, skiing, small business, Italian food, you know, anything like that. Or you can just put in your city or your zip code and it'll bring up everything that's in your area. I would suggest doing um, by topic or interest because, because then it's automatically going to give you what's near you. But at least that way you're really ta tailoring it to your needs. Things for music, outdoor activities, um, walking, hiking, running. Um, work things, bikes, parents, scooters, art, um, tons and tons of stuff. It's a really, really cool site. You can also, um, that would be how you would find a meetup group, but you can also start a meetup group. So if there's something out there that you would like to start that isn't listed, or if there is a really cool group that looks like you'd want to go, but it's too far away. It's not really convenient for you. You can start a more local one for yourself, um, you know, if that's your cup of tea. You do have to be willing to push your comfort zone a little bit. And we did a video a few weeks back about pushing the limits with your comfort zone, getting out of your comfort zone. And I'm going to post the link to that video again because I think that can be really helpful where this is concerned. And you just have to remember that unless you push yourself to get out there and do these things, you are going to be alone. You aren't going to make friends. You aren't going to increase your social network. It's not something that can just happen magically. You can't click a button and automatically have have new friends or new people to do things with. You have to actually take some initiative and get out there yourself. The good news is, is if you are looking based on things that interest you, other people are going to be, they're not going to be judgmental. They're going to be there for the same reasons that you are. So it should take a little bit of the edge of discomfort off for you. If being invited to things makes you uncomfortable because you don't know what kind of food there's going to be, you don't know if it's going to be um, a dinner event or a lunch event, you don't know what it's really going to be like or who's going to be invited, and you'd like to go but certain things stop you, for example, if people are meeting at a restaurant or something like that, sometimes you're going to have to take the initiative and the responsibility and you're going to have to be the one to make the plans. You're going to have to be the one to sort of say, okay, everyone, like I'd like to get together who wants to do something on this night at this time and let's 
meet here. And if you're the one sort of putting it out there, what the plan is, you're taking the initiative to do that, then everything is going to revolve around what you would like to do. And anyone who's interested is going to, you know, follow along. So you don't always have to go with the flow of what everyone else is doing. Part of making friends and extending your social network is taking little jumps and risks yourself and putting into other relationships what you would want people to put into a relationship with you. So it's a two-way street. You have to remember that making friends is not as hard as you might think it is. If you build it up to be way up on this pedestal of something so unreachable and so unattainable, it's going to feel like that. You have to look at it as just something that you would like to do. Um, you know, even if you have to put it on your goal list, make a new friend this year or something like that. I mean, you know, making one friend may not seem like it is extending your social network, but it is because for every person you know, they know people and, you know, you're going to meet new people just by doing things with one other person. So if that's all the courage that you can muster, then so be it. And you don't necessarily have to have dozens and dozens of friends to have healthy relationships and good friendships and fun times and lots of things to do. So you have to be true to yourself and what your needs are and what you like. Joining something is always going to be a good way to extend your network and make friends. Um, obviously, if you're at school or at work, you can make friends that way. But if you are, for example, going to be in community theater or you're going to be in other, some other kind of play or you're going to play a sport, it's a great way to meet people and you're there for another reason than to make friends. So there's not a lot of pressure to like everyone that's there or to do things outside of what the activity is. I mean, let's say you're going to play soccer. You're going to play co-ed soccer. You found a co-ed soccer team in your area and you love sports. You know, you join this team and everyone's there for the same reason to play soccer because they love it. And you're inevitably going to make friends. You're going to be with those people, you know, a few nights a week or one night a week or whatever it is. And you guys are going to have a good time. And eventually you're going to click with people. And that's just the way it works. You don't have to put so much thought and effort into it. You just live your life, do the things you enjoy, meet people that come your way. And if one of them has a connection with you, then you take it from there. And there's always going to be people that you meet that are going to take a lot more initiative than you are and they'll ask you to do things or they'll seem like they want to make friends with you that you don't really have to put forth a lot of effort. But then there are times where you're going to have to take the initiative yourself, so don't be afraid to do it. A fun way to make friends, especially for women, is if you um, want to have some kind of party or get-together at your house where you are having, I don't know, just things that are coming to mind, like a pampered chef party where you have all the cookware um, and you have, you invite women friends and, and things like that, or a jewelry party or um, bath and body products or makeup or anything like that where people have those home shows where you can host it at your house and you have the person come in and then you invite a bunch of people and, you know, in the hopes that they'll buy something or but it's sort of like a girls' night, and you don't really necessarily have to know everyone very, very well who's coming, nor do you really want to, because a really good thing to do, especially to meet new people all in one shot, would be to invite, you know, your closest friends and tell everyone to bring someone else. So if your friends are bringing somebody else that you don't necessarily know, maybe they're going to bring a coworker, maybe they'll bring their sister, their cousin, you know, a friend from, a friend from school, anything like that you are extending your network and the great thing is is if you're the one hosting a party or a gathering like this everyone's in your house so you know they're already going to be on a more comfortable level with you just because you're hosting a party and you know you're maybe you're offering food or drink or whatever it might be um, but that's an idea for people that are creative like that or they wanted to do something like that anyway but didn't think they'd have enough friends to have a party you don't really have to have everyone coming to those be your very close friend tell your friends to invite their friends and it works out really really well sounds really cheesy sounds like what teachers say to you while you're growing up but the only surefire way to make friends that are real friends and to extend your social network in a way that you're happy with is to be yourself you have to be yourself you just put out there 
the kind of person that you are and if you exude the kind of personality that is true to you, you're going to get friends that have similar personalities, similar interests, similar demeanor, and it's, it's a lot easier than you might think that it is. Okay guys, that's all for this time. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I will see you next time.